Trump was the first to cash in on this. There's something terribly wrong in this country, and I'm not like the others who pretend it isn't there. I'm not Bush, the Republican. I'm not Clinton. I'm the, everything's okay, and we're gonna be all right, and everything is good, right? I'm not that. I'm gonna say naughty things. I'm gonna, you know, Mexicans? Who are Mexicans? They're all rapists. I mean, you know, inappropriate thing, this stupid, inappropriate, ignorant, biased. And by that act, he becomes one of the people who've been saying such things at the bar for years and over the dining room table in their family and at the workplace and angry that the politicians can't or won't admit it, even though they, you know, they're, they're afraid to say so. I think they loved him for that. Many still do. But you know something? That goes nowhere. Never did. And so they don't want that anymore. They're enough with that. And the poor Trump, he's going right down the tubes now because he's stuck with the persona that had its moment. But is now, it, it's over. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't compute. It doesn't do. People are really frightened more and more. They want a cheery person. They got one. They got one. And they're going to go for her because she's cheery. She's happy. She's energetic. This image of the two old men you know, in a race to see whose cognitive decline will be quicker you know, was, was just the worst. They, they, that's the image of the empire. Those two old men having trouble walking up an incline to Jesus Christ. This, this is it. She's run, she's brown, and she's going to do it. And he's a nice guy with a nice smile, coaches football, teaches, likes working people. This is much better. This will, by the way, this will wear out just as fast as MAGA. And then, I hope, Somebody will come along and say, hey, we need to make him a deal. A deal between the rich and the poor. And they both are going to have to. We're going to ease the pain. What we've had so far, if I were writing the speech, what we've had so far is we've had the rich and the powerful in a declining empire using their wealth and power to hold on to what they got. And you know what that means? They're offloading the cost of a declining empire on the middle and lower classes. That can't go on. I'm the champion. But I'm saying to the rich and powerful, we're going to take a chunk of what you got. But if we don't, then everything will be lost. And they'll buy it. Because they'll be by that time frightened by enough Ukraines. <clears throat> that they'll, they'll buy it. Or they won't. And if they won't, then they'll have to have a straight-out fascist to hold on to the middle and the bottom. And that's over then, too, which kind of they also know. So they're in a very tough place. I won't be around to see it. You will. But it's a tough place. <laughs> <laughs>